Okay, and we're back. Welcome to week six in COSA 25. Professor Almeida just checking in with you to see how things are going. Remember that in an online environment, it's real easy to fall behind. So I'm here to remind you to pace yourself, to check into Canvas, ideally at least once a day to work through the different assignments. So this week we are working with chapter five on templates, advanced relationships, and macros. I wanna show you the sim book we are working with. There isn't a whole lot of tasks to go through, and if you are taking the time out to pace yourself, you should be able to get through the sim book. Again, with these sim books, they are graded on completion, so it's just a matter of having the discipline to go in and to work through the readings. Now, we're gonna start with templates here. You'll learn about pre-designed databases and access. Now, if you know this stuff, you can just skip straight to the let me try simulation and get your points, but you also have show me and guide me if you need them, okay? So that's a bit on templates. We're going to look at advanced table relationships because earlier, in this course, you learned about one-to-many relationships, and now we're gonna kick it up a notch, and you'll learn how to work with many-to-many -many relationships with your tables in Access. So again, make sure to go through the simulations and get your points. Finally, we're gonna spend some time with macros. You'll learn how you can automate certain tasks in Access with code, and again, spend some time on macros, learn how they work. As usual, you have your guided projects to help you walk through certain scenarios. So tackle the sim book and then the guided project before you attempt the independent projects. Again, it's pretty much the same formula, at least until about week nine when we start to work with G metrics. So that's all we have for this week. Again, remember to check in and pace yourself ask questions and good luck. Thanks for watching.